Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today you join me with one of my absolute favourites. It's an empties video. This is a basket that's been kept in my bathroom for, I want to say about two months now, maybe a little bit longer. Filling up with empty beauty products. So think hair care, makeup, skincare. And now here we are basically to say whether I would repurchase, whether I'm on the fence or whether I would completely avoid. Let's just dive straight in. Some of these items have been gifted and I'll put a little thing here just for transparency to say whether they have or haven't been. But where do we start? I don't really know. Let's grab the thing that's right on top and we're gonna start i feel really bad starting with this so this is the bondi boost blonde baby toning shampoo i have still a little bit of blonde left in my hair but i'm fundamentally now quite brunette i found this it kind of didn't do much like it wasn't doing a huge amount of toning it was quite drying i found i always had to use a second shampoo when i use this so to be honest i would not repurchase i also threw out the matching conditioner because it just wasn't conditioning should we move on to something that i did enjoy we'll stick with the hair care and these are the archive all day shampoo and conditioner and i loved these there you go yay i actually thought these were so so good and although these are obviously quite basic and they're everyday and they're kind of not designed for any particular hair care need i actually really loved them the shampoo lathered beautifully the conditioner was actually quite hydrating without being too heavy at all oh so you can buy it from boots and look fantastic interesting so it looks like one of these bottles is about 13 pounds which give or take 12 pounds is that a bigger bottle than this i yeah i absolutely love these definitely definitely repurchase so shall we just grab the next thing the next thing is the garnier skin active moisture Blonde sheet mask but explicitly the night one these are great i mean they're not like gonna change your life and they're gonna like miraculously make your skin look and feel completely rejuvenized rejuvenized that's not a real word rejuvenated but they're so relaxing and they do have quite a lot of serum in them and they're just nice like i enjoy them they do make my face feel like i've like shoved loads of moisturizer on which fundamentally is what you want from it i will keep buying these I finished the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. This honestly lasted forever. If you want a product that just like will be in your life till the end of time. But I have to say, I think I prefer the cleansing balm to the cleansing oil. Fundamentally, they both do the same thing. They both are a very easy, quick, effortless makeup removal product. There was just something about the balm that just felt a little bit nicer. And it felt almost like it was, because it was thicker, you could control it slightly more. Well, obviously this was very liquidy, so it was very quickly off your face. <laughs> While the balm, you could literally like full on manipulate. So I think I would buy the balm over the oil. But honestly, if you love the balm, and you want a more kind of like longer lasting in terms of like the product lasts longer. You want it to be a little bit thinner in texture. Try the oil. A bit of a rogue one. These are the Hair Gain Hair Gummies, which I'm pretty sure I got in an advent calendar. They were very apple-y. They're almost like, they were just very apple-y. So if you're not a big fan of apple as a flavor, you're gonna really hate these. But otherwise they were quite nice. I have to say, I mean, I think I have relatively healthy hair. I'm not sure these did a huge amount for me personally. I mean who knows i finished the beauty crop cocoa Mist setting mist this was like a really good setting spray for making your makeup sit better on your face it wasn't like the best at long lasting makeup so it was a good one it did the job it wasn't my favorite i do genuinely prefer the milk makeup one or the urban decay one but as like cheaper more kind of like drugstore setting sprays go she was good uh so i've also finished the anatomy relax and sleep bath salt these were like in the shower so they've got pretty gross i don't necessarily personally think they did all that much they smell amazing they smell really nice i don't know i don't know if i'm massively a bath salt person i think i prefer bubble bath so they were fine i really enjoyed the fabs in a glass bottle i just don't think bath salts are necessarily my thing I finished a couple of foundations i think these are all of them from a very quick scan through here so i finished three foundations all completely opposite to each other so you've got the kvd good apple foundation which is a very thick 
very like heavy foundation it's heavy gt the coverage is like on the verge between medium and high coverage it's actually not as high coverage as i remember it being but it's like medium to high coverage foundation it looks beautiful but you can feel it on your skin so it depends on depends on how like light you want your foundation to be which is where this comes in this is the maybelline superstay 24 hour skin tint which is more like a light to medium coverage but it feels like you just put a serum on your face so like these are honestly polar opposites from each other and then the other one is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup, which is like a blend of these two foundations together, but almost like the worst bits of them. Like, I didn't hate this. Like, I clearly used it up. I don't think it's great. So basically, it's like a really thick texture, which is why it feels more like this. It almost feels like the, what was the old Maybelline foundation that everyone used to use back in the day that came in the pot? I forget what that's called, but it's got a very similar texture to that. Honestly, I used it up but I used it up because I bought it rather than because I enjoyed it and wanted to use it so wouldn't 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 recommend this wouldn't repurchase I really hate being mean about products so let's go into a favorite this is the Tatcha Chewy Skin Cream this is delightful it's one of those creams that's like really hydrating does a really nice job it's actually really light and it doesn't feel too heavy it's honestly I think like the best of the best of pretty much every face cream that I've tried it's one of my absolute favorites I've got the Ordinary Sulfate 4% Cleanser for Body and Hair. As a hair wash, it's fine. As a body wash, it also is fine. Finished up a toothpaste. Don't know what to tell you. It does the job. Um, same with a hand wash. Finished up a hand wash. It's the Boutique Made in England White Nectar, Nectarine, sorry, and Pear Cleansing Hand Wash two more face masks here i've got the simple rich moisture sheet mask and the i've ripped off the brand so i do not know beauty pro i think brightening sheet mask i definitely prefer this one if you're in the market for a sheet mask buy these over these where do i go next the skin proud refresher hydrating face mist this was one of those like really nice to have products did it really do much i'm not really sure there's quite a lot of makeup items in the bottom of here shall i do some brows I've got two yeah i've got two brow empties i've got the nyx the brow glue which i think this is my second tube and i will probably definitely repurchase this it looks a bit grim so there's actually still a little bit product in here i wish they made it clear not clear it is clear i wish they made it opaque so you didn't have to see how like grim it got but it is actually a really good brow gel like you want your brows to like stay where they are solid and then i finished the kosas brow pop dual action defining pencil did the job it has a brown pencil on one end which isn't too fine so if you want a fine brow pencil this isn't the one but yeah it's not too fine and then it's got a spoolie on the other end yeah love this this was okay. I threw this out and I feel really bad, right? So I know sunscreen is really, really important. I'm all here for it, but this is the Vici UV Age Daily. And the reason why I got rid of it is because it felt like sunscreen, which feels like a really weird thing to say. But when you've tried the Super Goop sunscreens, like pretty much any of them, you'll know what I mean. Like they don't feel like sunscreen. They just feel almost like a, like a jelly thing that you're putting on your face. And then this smells like sunscreen. It feels like sunscreen and you can almost feel it like clogging up your face so yeah i haven't finished this i'm getting rid of it i just i don't really want to use it so <laughs> life's too short i finished the murad revitalixer recovery serum really enjoyed this really loved it it's like hydrating it's light it's not too intense did the job and like there's still a bit of product left in it but it's like stuck to the side which means you can't pump it out but it comes in these little like balls which is quite fun so we've got the maybelline eraser multi-use concealer love the product hate the packaging so i probably won't repurchase it until they put it in like a doe foot applicator and then a ride or die of mine the nars soft matte complete concealer in the shade vanilla i think this will be one that i will repurchase probably not until we've moved when the time comes and the repurchasing happens she will be on the list i finished the soap and glory flake away body scrub i find anything from soap and glory such a throwback it makes me think i'm like a teenager again and i'm like experiencing all the girly things really for the first time soap and glory just makes me think of being like 19 and i kind of really enjoy it so i think i've got a bit of a like a sentimental pair of sunglasses on when i look at soap and glory but products are, i think the products are great but i also there's just something about them. I finished the Elemis 
Frangipani Moon. Oh, I don't know how you say that. I finished an Elemis shower cream. Delightful. Did the job. Super luxurious. Creamy. Delicious. Big fan. Not sure I'd repurchase it because I'm not sure I'm that bougie, but if I was able to kick in one again, I think this was an advent calendar. I finished the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This was fine. Like, I think it was an okay mascara. Do I think it deserves all the love and hype it gets? Probably not. Are there mascaras that I definitely prefer more? Absolutely. If we're gonna continue the makeup slander, the next one's Benefit. There are so many things in this brand that I absolutely love, but this is not one of them. <laughs> this is the Benefit Roll the liner and it's basically the brown one it dried up so fast i think i must have used this like six times and then i couldn't use it again which is not a good cost per wear not impressed i don't know if it's just mine i don't know if i didn't do the lid up properly one time but i finished the skin proud icicle cooling eye serum stick i liked this I didn't love it. I didn't think it was actually that good of an eye cream. It was very cooling. It was quite a fun applicator. I enjoyed using it. Do I think it did an amazing job? No, not really. And I do think Skin Proud do make some amazing, amazing products. I'm using their overnight moisturizing masky thing at the moment. So they do make some incredible products. I think this was fine. Uh, I also finished the Kiehl's Retinol Fast Release Wrinkle Reducing Night Serum. Can't necessarily speak to the wrinkle reducing side of it but it was a nice serum i enjoyed using it it was pleasant enough i i don't really know i feel like there's very few serums that i'm like ride or die obsessed will repurchase to the end of time i did like this if i was in the market for a night serum it would definitely be on my short list finished the what brand is that lixis skin vitamin c paste I don't remember this. I don't remember what my experience of it was. We've then got four products left. So we've got a fragrance. This is the Ted Baker Woman fragrance. I wouldn't say it's the best. It's quite, how do I describe this? It's quite alcoholy. Is that a really horrible thing to say? I don't know if mine's gone off. I'm not really sure, but it didn't smell best. And I think I prefer all of my other fragrances. <laughs> I then got three favorites. So I'm gonna finish on an absolute high. Three makeup favorites I finished that I love. So the first one is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Does the job, your makeup like almost you can almost stick the bottle to your face like it is so sticky and grippy i love it i've repurchased i will keep repurchasing big fan i also finished my first blush this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade quirky which i don't know why i'm opening it you can't see the color anymore but this was so pretty and it's so beautiful i have another one of the amazon blushes as well and i do kind of want to buy this shade again it was honestly like such a nice everyday pretty pink blush and i finished it and then last but by no means least the nars afterglow lip balm in the shade dolce vita another beautiful everyday lip color which i have repurchased in the full size she's hydrating she's got a lovely color she's not the longest lasting but then again she's a lip balm so what do we expect i love this i've repurchased it so it says everything you need to know and there you have it. The basket is empty, the video is finished, and this will now go back in the bathroom and start collecting things all over again. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you've potentially found some products you want to try and maybe some products you don't. <laughs> And I will see you guys in my next video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, leave a comment, let me know some of your favourites down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!